I hope you had a chance to enjoy the beautiful weather around the wiregrass today. Just some filtered sunshine across the region with some mainly upper level clouds around the wiregrass, not producing any rain for us, but off to the west, we do have some thicker clouds and they will continue to filter into our area as we do head into the overnight hours. Here's the view from our downtown camera. Thanks to the Durham Digital Network. Nice looking sunset there. You can see the clouds off in the distance. They're still on the mild side, 75 degrees at the airport. That temperature is going to be staying pretty warm as we do head into the overnight. Just the 60s expected by tomorrow morning, thanks to a southerly breeze, and that's helping those temperatures all across the region to stay pretty mild. The cooler locations are in the lower 70s, like the Funiac Springs, Troy, and Ozark in the lower 70s. And all of us will be getting in on that over the next couple of hours. Eventually, as we do head into the overnight, our lows will be be in the 60s, 70 by 10 o'clock, but all the kids will be heading indoors before that uh, go to sleep. It is a school night out there and for tomorrow when everyone is at work and school, we will be tracking some showers and storms. The best chance will be after noon time and some of those do have potential to be strong to severe and these rain chances will be lingering into the first part of Friday, at least until noon time, maybe a, a give or take a few hours there, but the rain chances will continue into Friday and that's the and we'll be clearing out as we do head into the weekend, giving way to a beautiful sunny sky for Saturday and for the most part on Sunday as well. Just a little bit of cloud cover will start to come in ahead of our next system. Now, as far as the severe weather threat for tomorrow, by far the main threat, the biggest threat is going to be strong wind in excess of 60 miles per hour. There is a low end isolated tornado threat with this, so it's going to be the kind of day you're definitely going to want to be uh, weather aware. And there's also a low end hail threat from some of the stronger storms that do Develop. Now the primary threat area is pretty much right over the wiregrass, including the Panhandle and our southwestern Georgia County, stretching from New Orleans to Tallahassee along Interstate 10 as well. So certainly stay weather aware if you're going to be traveling anywhere across the region. And then for Friday, that threat area will be shifting off to the east as the cold front moves through the area, taking all the storm activity with it. As at least the stronger storms will still have some lingering showers in our area for the first part of Friday. High pressure is in control of our weather now that's helping to pump in that Gulf moisture ahead of the cold front that we are tracking that will be bringing us those showers and storms. There have been some strong storms ahead of this, including some tornado warnings. And as this system moves to the east, it's really not going to be dying off all that much until it's pretty much right over us. That's why we do keep the severe weather threat in the forecast. Here we are at 10 a.m. Right through the middle sections of Alabama, Huntsville, Birmingham, just to the west of Montgomery through Mobile, and that will be in our area as we head past lunchtime. Starting to die off as it does cross the Chattahoochee River, but we do keep those storm chances and the threat for stronger storms in the forecast into the early evening. Then very early Friday morning, the cold front will actually start to clear the area, but more moisture will be flowing up along that and will give us a pretty dance, a pretty uh, decent chance of some showers and storms through the day on Friday. Closer home for tonight, mostly clear for the overnight. Strong wind out of the southeast pumping in that moisture, and there you go, approaching at 1015. Those storms just to our west, and they will be over us after lunchtime. Scattered storms then expected for Friday, then clearing out for Saturday and Sunday. Turn the clock back one hour so you get everywhere on time. Then Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday rain and storm chances will be lingering. It looks like the warmest days will be in the upper 70s like for tomorrow and then next week, but fairly cool then for Friday 